social media, there is evidence of his violence. We are learning the FBI was warned five months ago about a possible shooting threat, but that didn't go anywhere. And tonight, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, says they have to do better. And number 7's Jacqueline Allen is looking into how Colorado, for one, will try. Well, just look at the accused shooter's violent social media posts, like a YouTube comment about wanting to become a professional shooter. That is sparking conversations here in Colorado about sounding the alarm. Tonight, CSU police are asking students to speak up when a friend needs help, and they tweeted suggesting looking for changes in behavior, weight, hygiene, and motivation. We also know Colorado schools take threats like this very seriously. Just tonight, the principal at Harrison High School in Colorado Springs announced that they are postponing tomorrow's pep assembly because of chatter about possible acts of violence and they are increasing police presence. Remember here in Colorado, we have the Safe to Tell program. Students, parents, teachers can anonymously report concerns. In January alone, Safe to Tell got more than 1,300 reports from suicide threats to planned school attacks. Colorado Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman tells me Safe to Tell has prevented numerous acts of violence in our schools, but people have to be willing to report. What I think is most important is that kids trust their gut instincts because we know when something doesn't seem right. And think about this. She says in more than 80% of school shootings, the shooter has given warning signs. So we have to listen and watch and work together as a community. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7 and 